And now, once again, we have a basically free Porsche. So for this story, I wanna talk about the value of expertise and what kind of advantages you can have going into a car purchase if you are an expert on that car. Today, I wanna to kind of share the story of how my brother and I are really knowledgeable about 944 Porsches in particular and a couple other Porsche models and how knowing that model inside and out has given us the chance to buy some of these cars at an extremely, extremely good deal and sometimes even less than $0. Let me explain. So on some of these 944s, we've posted some videos on our channel and they get tons of views talking about like $0 Porsches or negative dollar Porsches. And they're like, how is this possible? Well, we've been able to numerous times buy these 944s that have very special options on them and get them for dirt cheap because a lot of Porsche 944s, 924s, and 928 sometimes, some, sometimes they go for really cheap. If they're a little rough around the edges or don't have great service history or super high mileage, they are still cheap cars nowadays. 944 turbos are shooting up in value and going crazy, but the NAs are still fairly cheap. We love them. We've been promoting 944s for the past six years, ever since we started YouTube. But with these NAs, sometimes they go for a thousand bucks, 2000 bucks, 3000 bucks, and sometimes even less at auction. And we're able to get these cars that have very unique options and sell some of these pieces out of them and pay for the entire car. For example, some cars were optioned with the rare sport seats, which give you these huge bolsters on the side, these thigh supports and slightly different leather. Sometimes you can upgrade them to like full leather seats and all this fancy stuff. And these seats are worth a ton of money. Sometimes the seats alone are worth $5,000 or more. Sounds crazy, right? But we've been able to do it time and time again. The first time we proved this little business model was with a uh, 2001 Porsche Boxster with some light damage at auction. It was at a Copart auction, buy it now for like 1800 bucks. And we're like, okay, okay, this is nice looking pictures. And then we see the seats and it's got the, the hardback sports seats. And we're like, okay, well like those are worth a lot of money. So we look them up on eBay and those seats are worth like 1800 bucks. We're like, okay, we can get the car for free and just sell the seats and put in like normal seats and be in the car very little. So we did that. We got the car, uh, we fixed it up. It didn't need much repair work to get it looking nice. And then sure enough, we took out the seats. We sold them a couple weeks later on eBay for $1,850. So with auction fees and a little bit of work we had to do in replacing them with $200 basic non-sport seats, we were in the car like, I don't know, under $1,000, 500 bucks or something like that. So we're like, okay, this is working. So later that month, we bought a 1983 Porsche 944. Once again, from Copart Auction, it was like some donated vehicle and it was $1,300, pretty clean overall, no damage on it, just beat up paint and, but it was listed as a running and driving car. So we're like, okay, the car's probably pretty decent. We can like fix it up, make it look pretty. And then once again, it had the rare sports seats in it. Uh, these are the early generation sports seats from 83 to 85.5 on the 944s. Not quite as desirable, but still worth some money. So we bought that car for 1,350 bucks or something, got it down to Arizona, shipped it from California for a few hundred bucks. And once again, we pulled out the sports seats, sold them on eBay for actually, funny enough, the exact same number, $1,850. We paid 1,400 bucks for the car plus some fees and shipping. We threw in $100 junk 944 seats. And now once again, we have a basically free Porsche. And then we did it a third time and a fourth time. One of the best examples, another 944 with a beautiful condition, generation two sports seats, 85.5 and to 91. Those seats are worth the most amount of money, black. They were in great condition. The car only had 54,000 miles on it, which for a 944 is very low. The car was hitting the front end and we won the bid for $3,000, had it shipped to us. Once again, take out the sports seats, sold them on eBay for $4,500 approximately. 4,500 bucks for a car we paid $3,000 for. And the car is still like, it's not like we just junked the car after, the car is still there. We just put in like factory normal seats, probably sacrilege while we're doing. We're taking out these beautiful rare sports seats and putting in normal, just standard seats, or you can go Corbo seats or Sparkos, you know, some aftermarket thing if you genuinely want that. But there's a few different ways to skin the cat. But uh, what, what we're doing is like tried and true and it works and I'm spilling all my secrets here, but uh, it doesn't just apply to 944s, obviously, and, and not just 944s with sports seats. 
few schwiels on 944 turbos are worth a ton of money. Even NAs are worth maybe a thousand bucks for NAs. And on turbos, those wheels can be worth two to $3,000. Our first ever 944 turbo, 86 944 turbo, we bought it for 4,300 bucks. Guess what? It had very nice condition Fuchs wheels on it. We sold them for $2,300 and we threw on phone dials for $100. So that now put our effective price of the car to $2,100. So the whole point is like knowing these cars inside and out to be able to reduce your effective like purchase price to zero or very close off that, you know, in, in relation to these 944s. Literally yesterday, there was a 84 944, once again with sports seats, it sold for 675 bucks. Probably should have bought it. I thought it was gonna go for more. The sports seats are worth 13, 1400 bucks, even with a couple of rips. Oops, missed that one. We can't catch them all. We already have like six 944, carcasses, cars that are just hanging around the garage, but they're all pretty much $0. Two more crazy examples, another 87 944. It was donated, it's in kind of like a few pieces. Like I think the dude was midway through a restoration. Really nice car though, 70,000 miles, nice body, nice paint. It had perfect condition sports seats in it. Those, once again, sold for over $2,000. But get this, the car we only paid $350 for. So it's just like time and time again, but yeah, not just with sports seats, sometimes with the transmissions. We talked about the wheels and sports seats, but the transmissions. Option 220 on 944s is an LSD transmission. Very valuable, especially on the turbo and S2 model cars because they're very strong, can take huge power. You can throw an LS in it as long as you have a 220 LSD trans out of a turbo or S2. It's going to hold the power and it's going to really make for a nice driving experience. So. I found a burnt 944 S2 in Los Angeles, burnt to a crisp. That thing got cooked. We won the bid for $275 and we had it shipped out. We removed the transmission, which I knew was an LSD. How did I know it was an LSD? You can't know by the VIN or anything like that, I don't think, at least we can't. But I found the bring a trailer listing from a year prior. And on that bring a trailer listing, it showed the options list and it was described as having an LSD. So sure enough, we get the burnt car and there's the transmission in pretty good shape, worth about 1,500 to 2,000 bucks. And it turns out it had an engine too that was salvageable, like you could you could do something with it. We sold that for 1,500 bucks on eBay too. So that car's maybe good for like three grand. We paid 275 bucks. So pretty shrewd if, uh, if I do say so myself, but uh, it applies to so many different cars. Like uh, we were talking about earlier, uh, we saw a Mercedes-Benz S500 W220 and it had unique wheels on it. I'm like, hmm, I've never seen those before. I started to do some digging. It turns out they were like SL73 AMG wheels, but I'm not an expert with that car. So I didn't know if they were real or replicas or what they really were exactly. And the auction was starting in five minutes. So I bid like 3000 bucks for the car just cause, and it went for like 3,100. And uh, if those wheels were real, it would probably be worth, I think from what I was seeing, maybe five to $7,000 for those wheels. So did I miss something there? Maybe, but I wasn't an expert on that car. So you, you try to, you gotta try to stay in your lane. Everybody wants one of everything to catch them all and have everything in their garage, but that's that spreads you very thin. You, you don't become an expert in one thing. It's like being a jack of all trades with all these different cars, but a master at none. So if you really hunker down on a car and specialize in it, you can find special options. You can find special, you know, value adders that give you a huge leg up when buying the car on auction or on Craigslist, on eBay, you know, whatever it may be, it doesn't have to be at these salvage auctions. We've just found really good luck with them, but it can be anywhere that you see a value adding opportunity and it doesn't have to be on cheap cars. You can find some Mercy Lago that, of course, something as obvious as like being a six speed manual transmission, that's gonna add a huge amount of value. It, we, we've done it once on our Ferrari 575. I don't think people realize it had a six speed gated manual and we got it for dirt cheap because that now adds $100,000 in value. So it can be with anything at any price point, just knowing exactly what's going on, knowing it inside and out to know what that option's worth, what that history is worth. I know I'm going everywhere, but it can apply to planes too. We've done it with a plane. Our latest uh, Cessna 182 purchase was at auction and they described what engine it had on it on the attachment and they described it as having an IO520D engine. Well, if you know planes, quite a bit, you would know that that is a fuel injected continental motor producing 300 horsepower. It's one of the 300 horsepower fuel injected motor swaps. They said nothing about it being a motor swap 182. And here that adds like the conversions like $70,000. 
So we were able to see that and it was a huge value adder because we were an expert on that plane, on that model, on that engine. And it was, you know, a huge win on that purchase. So it doesn't matter what it is. It's important to become an expert. And I say expert, but we're by no means, my brother and I, anywhere close to a full blown expert on any of those cars I mentioned. It's just, we have a pretty good leg up on these 944s. We've enjoyed them for many years, put tens of thousands of miles on 944s. We love them to death. And if we're able to add a few more to the collection by being able to sell some parts off them for more than we pay for the car, by all means, we will do it. Who wants a free carbon fiber ring? Well, right now, Patrick Adair Designs is giving away a free carbon fiber ring with any purchase if you use the code VINWIKICF at checkout on their website. You can find them at the link in the description below. You can also follow along on Patrick Adair's YouTube channel. You've seen him here telling car stories, but over there, he documents his journey in entrepreneurism and some of the amazing things they do to create rings out of the most interesting materials from Earth and from space. So check them out now and thank them for their support of VINWIKICF.